Hey, one and all, it's a uh, super rainy Sunday up here in Vancouver. I, I don't know if I'm working today or just hiding from all that rain. But anyways, a quick video on cam tech, in, uh, or at least the gear tech. In my uh, book on page uh, 37, and then I referenced it a little bit early, a couple pages before, we talk about bolting the cam gear. And I think for a lot of people, um, you, you know, I just think it's sort of intuitive. You're going to check the cam gear, but one thing I really haven't uh, covered enough in the book, and uh, apologies for that, is to actually check your cam to see if the gear is loose. Now, once again, I'm trying to do this all with one hand, but on this particular cam, really hard to show you, these, um, these rivets are just loose as heck. They're just clunking around. So now what happens... Um, just you know through engine cycles and and throughout the the life of this camshaft those little rivets uh what they do is they just get loose in this plate there's almost like a not enough rivet there on the fe engine so what some people have done this is just a fixture i use with an old cam i used to use this on our our service counter to show customers uh, how the rivets break etc um what i wanted to talk about quickly here is the, how we we fix them and it's mentioned in the book is we uh just drill off the chamfer on the edge uh, end of the rivet like here we'll just drill that off and they punch it out with a punch and then uh what we'll do is go ahead and uh, drill the plate and the gear um to uh, one quarter inch and uh 732 on the cam and then we tap it for national fine now what's uh and then torque it back up to uh it's like um you know, 13, 14 foot pounds or something like that. But what we're talking about is we use a grade eight button head bolt. Now these are available from us, uh, you know, like they're like the, including freight and the whole bit, you're, you know, under 20 bucks or whatever, but for four of these. But um, the reason why we use this hardware instead of like what I've seen guys using is this, it's just a little socket head cap screw. It doesn't really put that much support on this plate. It's sort of doing the similar thing uh, that the rivet did. It, uh, admittedly, the socket head cap screw is a little bit better than the rivet, but the support that the button head bolt provides is just superlative, and you can get a decent torque on it. So uh, one thing I just wanted to say about that is that, uh, you know, we can drill the cams and everything in this fixture. Like these, it's designed to hold these things. They just come right out and just, you know, plug it, plug into this thing. But you don't need that. You could you could do it um, equally well in your soft jaws. But be careful when you're drilling this stuff. Like this can be a bit of a hazard to drill because it's a real hard plate. Bolt it in or snug it up in your vise so you're facing it. Your drill comes in sort of horizontally and just do sort of one hole at a time, right? So this would be just one hole exposed. And then the gear, drilling this plastic gear is... Uh, is something else as well like if you tried to do this in a drill press and just grab it this way it, it'll just lip, literally rip this out and damage the gear so go into your soft jaws again and carefully drill this with a hand drill sideways it's just way safer and um, then at the end when all this is assembled uh, or you're ready for torque you can use your soft jaws just to grab your cam and etc now People have actually contacted us and said, well, they're a little bit of fear to this operation because they're like, well, how will I get my timing right? Because obviously the timing mark is indexed to the cam. Don't worry about that stuff at all. You'll can, if you look at this, you can see that these things are all sort of, uh, uh, you know, uh, misplaced or spaced, if you will. So you can only put the gear, you can only put the gear on the cam or the plate in one way. Like if you tried to the, the little arrow on this plate, just to speed things up for you, always indexes with the the little dot on the gear. But if you were to try and rotate this to any other position, those holes will not line up. So don't don't worry. There's no way you can screw that up. And uh, what I also suggest is we just use a little tiny bit of blue Loctite on those bolts. And then with the torque, I mean, I have never had a failure. Uh, I have had some cams come back from other shops using this hardware and I don't know if it was just installed incorrectly or what have you but I've seen those things fail but there are button head bolts uh, never never had a failure and just in closing I want to let everybody know that um, this is a little bit of a weird core I'm selling this engine outright this is a counterclockwise FE 350 
So this is for your um, non-unitized DSs and carryalls, etc. This core is is mint. I the only thing I had to do is a couple of helicoils in the starter generator bracket uh, area. I'm selling this engine outright, including the crating, the whole bit. I mean, admittedly, it is a rare engine uh, these days. It's going to be 2300 US, fully rebuilt, uh, with a 20 millimeter, uh, sorry, 20 millimeter carburetor. The FE400 carburetor, the original kin, goes with it. And um, as I say, this thing is meant to uh, all crating, freeze, and freight included. So 2300 US in the continental US, you can have... A mint counterclockwise FE350. It's standard bore right now. I'll try and find a 0.25 mil piston. They're getting hard to find as well, but uh, that will be a great engine for somebody who's, uh, you know, all blown up or just wants to go up in power on a, uh, you know, from a FE290 because this will bolt right in place of the FE290. So, anyways, thanks again for um, watching my little mini cam tech video. All the best and uh, wishing everybody a happy, prosperous week. See you later.